So this will probably be the last set of oracles that we'll discuss for today. Abuse, whether it's physical or emotional abuse or any sort of abuse, can manifest itself in our behaviors. And I thought this was a really good example. I saw this a long time ago. Someone had brought it up. And this is a story of an abused zoo bear that still circles in an imaginary cave, a uh, cage, seven years after being set free. And it just goes to show you that a lot of our behaviors can change, even when the physical uh, prison is no longer in front of us. Individuals will still do the same routine over and over and over again just because they've they've learned the behavior and this is actually a clip of the bear itself and so the bear having lived in a small cage this was basically his routine where he would just kind of walk in a circle but he's free he doesn't have a chain around his neck but he still exhibits the same sort of behavior because of the trauma of what he had of what he had gone through of course i'll leave that link below and this is the same thing can happen to humans now the reason that i bring this up is a very interesting video now i had said a long time ago that the research that i had done that more than likely the vaccine was going to move to every three months and so this is uh, sajid uh, javid and he is the health and social care secretary in in uh, the UK, right? He is the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care uh, of the United Kingdom. Now, we're going to listen to what he says, and he confirms what I had said many months ago. In fact, I think my video was back in August, and it got flagged for misinformation. But now, just a few months later, we can listen to what he says for those who have taken the vaccine in the UK. And of course, more than likely, we will see we will see this here in the United States. And we went from two weeks to slow the spread to, you know, quote unquote, boosters every three months. And listen to what he has to say. CVI published its advice in the last hour. First, it advised that the minimum dose interval for booster jabs should be halved from six months to three months. Second, that the booster program should be expanded to include all remaining adults aged 18 and above. Third, that these boosters should be offered by age group in a descending order to protect those who are most vulnerable to the virus. So priority will be given to older adults and people over 16 who are at risk. Fourth, that severely immunosuppressed people aged 16 or above who received three primary doses should now also be offered a booster dose. Finally, that children aged between 12 and 15 should be given a second dose 12 weeks from the first dose. I have accepted this advice in full. With this new variant on the offensive, these measures will protect more people more quickly and make us better protected as a nation. And so, like I had said all those months ago, that this was going to be the narrative. This was the direction that they were going to take you. They just needed to pull you along step by step from two weeks to slow the spread to just two more weeks to just two two more months to just two more years to you know i think you just might need a booster shot it's going to be every year no it's going to be every six months oh, now it's going to be every three and this is where you're at and so you're even to the point where they're just like shit just like you can mix and match it don't even matter you can get whatever you want you can do took the fires don't worry you can take the modernity you can take the j and j it doesn't even matter why because it's all the same shit it's all the same stuff. It's a collusion between uh, all these different companies with the overreach of the government just utilizing big pharma to do the government's bidding to get jabs into arms. It's, there's, it's not like you never had an option. It was always the same stuff. It just came with a different packaging. And that's how they basically sold you. It was funny because 
you know, people were like, oh, that's the J&J. And, &J. and they, these booster companies were just like, they were just sitting there uh, like, oh, the, like, for, like, what's it called? Pfizer was like, yeah, those J&J, &J, those jabs, they cause blood clots. You should take ours. And then meanwhile, J&J &J was like, motherfucker, you know your shit causes blood clots too. What the fuck are you talking about? And so they were just sitting here gaslighting each other. That's why in the very beginning you heard a lot of you know shit talking about the J and J, and then now later on you hear about uh, you know the Pfizer and the Moderna. There was a lot of talk of the AstraZeneca one, and meanwhile the AstraZeneca was actually one of the least that had the least amount of side effects, at least from what I from what I understood from what I read. And it's just funny, and now to the point it's just like eh, just mix and match. It don't even matter. Just take whatever you want, get a little. You know, 10 boosters, you get yourself a sandwich. And this is basically where America is at. And for a lot of people are exhibiting, right, they've been captives. They've been in this abusive relationship between them and their government officials. And, of course, talk about Stockholm Syndrome, which is an, an emotional response. That's why you have all these people that, regardless of what you tell them, you can tell them, like, Look at the data, 99 point whatever percent, right? 99.5, 99.8, survival rate. It doesn't matter. And people just have this emotional response. You got to take it. Your vaccine doesn't work. If My vaccine don't work. If you don't take it, we still need to wear a mask. We still need to social distance. We still need to stay at home, shut it all down. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what sort of data you show these people is because they have an emotional response to what is going on. And it says it happens in it happens to some abuse and hostage victims when they have positive feelings toward an abuser or a captor. And this is what is going on with with nations. This is literally what is going on with many of these nations where they're choosing to silence like I talked about yesterday with Sweden. Sweden that literally they didn't shut down, they didn't have mass mandates, they didn't go and sit there and jab everybody. And after all was said and done, they said, Do you still want those vaccine mandates? And the people overwhelmingly said Yes. And it just goes to show you how easy, like when we look back at history, we look back at the Stalins, the Mussolinis, we look back at the, uh, during the time period of Germany, and we sit there and we scratch our heads and we be like, how the hell did you fool, fall for this? Like, it just seems like so obvious. And yet we live in those exact same times. And yet we live in those exact same times. And yet here we are. You still have people that saw the protest. They see their politicians having parties and doing whatever the hell they want. And then your average dipshit normie is doing this, right? They're circling. They're sitting there walking around in their home. They've got their three masks on. They're quadruple jabbed. And they're sitting there posting on social media that you need to go out and get your booster, right? And this is the average dipshit normie. And there's no saving them, just like this bear. This bear, seven years, seven years later, right? Seven years later, still doing the same shit. We're, we're two years later, still doing the same shit. It's like, how did you not learn from observable reality? We're the bodies in the streets. We're all the homeless people that you should have saw drop dead. We're all the people in, in, in the homeless shelters. They were talking about all these dead people. Everybody going to die in the jail cells. You didn't see none of that shit. And yet... Here we are, right? Two years later. Two years later, and we're, and we're still doing this. This is this is like nations. We're not even talking about a, a couple of people here and there. This is literally by the by the billions, people by the billions, are still doing this. Two years later, two weeks to slow the spread, right? It goes from get your booster, right? You circle, cases go down, and we go right back and circle. It's like nothing has changed got to break the cycle you got to break the cycle and it just goes to show you that when when push comes to shove people are just going to do whatever the government says it's going to go every three months every month we're going to hook you up 100 percent. we're going to stick an iv in your arm and we're going to pump you 24 hours a day full of this stuff and this is going to be your life and then elon musk is going to Put a neural link in your brain, and what's his name? Bill Gates is gonna mine Bitcoin with your brain from your from the energy created from your brain. If you haven't seen that article, that's a fucking crazy article. Just literally go Google that. Go Google Bill Gates wants to use your brain to mine Bitcoin, <laughs> and then you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyways, this, 
it is a shame that this is where we are. Like, like haven't learned. Humanity has not learned anything from history. It's a shame that we're this deep in the in a technological and where we literally you have information literally at the the tip of your fingertips, and yet we're still we are still this ignorant. We are still this ignorant till this day that we have all this history and we have all the knowledge, like literally at the tip of your fingertips, just look it up on your smartphone. You can do all types of research. And yet this is where we are in humanity. It is so sad to see that this is, this is what is going on in the world. And I don't know what, I don't know what's going to stop it. I don't know what's going to stop it. It's like I'm at a loss for words that this is where we're at. And I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was, I did all the I did all the research. I sat there and scoured through the Internet. You find stuff. You put it back. You put it in the back of your head. You wait for confirmation. Right. Because it's going to happen a couple of months later. You're like, I remember that. And here we are. Right. Here we are. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. The madness. Oh. Roll up your sleeves. Get ready to roll up your sleeves. For all you people who just got your booster, <laughs> they had to come back another three months later. They're like, you're not vaccinated. I just took four. You need the fifth or else you're, us, or else you're an anti-vaxxer. And yet here we are. And people will sit here and say, just like the dog where everything's burned, this is fine. This is fine. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Feel free to leave your comments below. And I'll check you next time.